not. Is your jacket physical? Yeah. Okay. What's the difference if between I want the two? To the universe my jacket. Or better, I should be doing more of this uh, and less. I don't know. Well, okay. I don't know. The universe might be internet. But they're both physical, we've established that. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So what's the difference between the two? Believe it's not one small one too. Okay, one's more complex, one's more simple. Okay. And one's bigger, one's smaller. Yeah? Now here's my simple question. If your jacket needs a design, like you know, I'm sure you haven't seen the jacket being made that you're wearing right now. Okay? But you assume it's designed. Okay? You assume it's designed not because you saw it being designed, but because of its features and its function and its purpose. There's something about the jacket, you reason to that conclusion. All I'm saying is this very simple. Is that if a simple jacket like this needs a design, a creative, then when we look at something far more, let me finish the point. So let me finish the point. A designer, a creator. At the moment they're applying the same way. No, they're not. Creation is when you come from nothing to something. Yes. Design is when you sure. transform from so something that, that, to something. That's else. the second discussion we'll have. They're different. But, yeah, but this is a more foundational discussion. The features of your physical jacket, which is simple, require a design. Okay? A design, not we'll, a creator. We'll say designer for now. Yeah, no creator. We we'll say designer for now, if it makes you happy. Yeah, amazing. Okay. Now, when we look at the universe, which is far more complex, more complex than a jacket, the universe which allows for human beings to exist, which create jackets. Design, Why? design, design. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. That's, I'm not saying that. I just design. I said we'll stick to it. Yes. <laughs> design. Why? Why do you say that the universe doesn't have a design? Well, I don't know. I've never said that. You're not atheist. Well, I'm agnostic in terms of. The but do you see the logic? Doesn't it apply that the universe must necessarily have a design if your simple jacket has a design? Well, the universe and the jacket are different things, aren't they? Okay, how are they different? This is why I asked you initially. Are they both physical? Yes. yes. What's different? And ask you this one's before. One's huge, one's small. Yes. One's complex. Okay, let me give you another analogy. Can I use your book for a second? Okay. These, these two things. Yeah? Okay? Now, if I was to say to you, this is the pretense of the question, hypothetically speaking. Okay? The pretense is, one of these things is designed, one of these things. You have to tell me which one. If you were to put your money on it, which one would you say is designed? The tissue or the bottle? Say <laughs> evil. I said, if you had to pick one, I told if you. I had to pick Here's what I'm saying. The pretense of the question is this. Yeah. That one of these is designed. Okay. I'm asking the question, which one? Which one would you say? Okay, why? Okay, exactly. Now, this is my point. Follow me. When it comes to the jacket, it's far more simpler than the tissue when it comes to the virus in the universe. The universe is far more complex than this bottle. So if you're willing to accept that your simple jacket needs a design, why don't you apply the same that the universe must necessarily then need a design? Well, I'm not. I'm agnostic in terms of if there's a design. So you're willing to change your position now? If you understand what I'm saying to me? Well, at least accept that there's a design. No, I don't know if there's a design. But what I just said, doesn't that make sense to you? Well, I see the jacket and the universe is two very different things. But how? I asked you how. And also, with a jacket, we you saw can go to, it has like a label, you can okay. buy it. Labels are designed as well. Yeah, I know. So, you know, this, the reason, this is why, I knew this was this is why I gave you this analogy. The reason you pick this one over this yeah. is because if you had to, if you had to, you pick this one over this because this is more complex than this. Okay, so there's more chances of this being designed than this being designed, right? Yeah, well, simple things can be designed. No, as well. sure, but but if you pick one, that's why I said pretense. This has more chance of being designed than this. And the reason I give you this analogy is this, because when it comes to your jacket, it's very simple. Yet you won't deny that it has a design. It has yeah? a design. Yes, but not creative. I'm not saying creative. But when it comes to the universe, which is far more complex than your jacket, you're denying that it's not design. Or you're not accepting that there must be a design. I don't know. Well, can't you see that there should must be a designer? Because I've just shown you now. No, because they're, they're different. The universe is different. Like, it how might be everything that exists. So if it's everything that exists, how can there be something outside of it? No, no, that's not the point. We can discuss what's outside of it. But first, you have to accept that there must be a designer. That's the point of our discussion right now. And once you accept that, then we can talk about the nature of the design. Well, I can't accept it because the universe is everything to me. It's everything in existence. So I, I can't see how it can be something that... That's that fine. Sort of what, you're doing, no, what you're doing is you're going to the next question. I'm saying let's address this one first. The nature of the designer we'll discuss. I'm simply asking if your simple jacket needs a designer. You may need to come closer to me on this. If your simple jacket needs a designer, then the universe which is more complex than your jacket must necessarily need a designer according to your own logic which you demonstrated here. But which is that the more complex more thing? Like humans. 
Yeah. We believe in evolution, but I believe in evolution. Right? Sure. Humans are more complex yes. than bottles. We're talking and about we the don't. universe. We're not talking about humans. We're talking about the universe itself. Okay. Let me let me repeat the point. As human beings, we don't always see no, things. <laughs> sure, sorry, here's your ball. As human beings, we don't always see things being designed, right? Yeah, Many yeah, yeah. things we own that we accept almost 100% conviction that they yeah. design yeah. such as your jacket and your glasses yeah. or your trainers you have nice trainers on by the way but the point is this that something as simple as that we say design even though we don't see the process taking place yeah. because of the nature of that thing because of the nature of your jacket and the nature also of when we're small we're taught like these factories yes. well whichever way like we, we, it's, it's our ability as human beings to understand these things yeah. what I'm saying is simple when it comes to the universe which is far more complex than your jacket Right? And the difference we establish, they're both physical. The difference is complexity and size. Yeah? When it comes to the universe, why do we reject that there must be a designer? But when it comes to simple things, we accept that it's a designer. Why the inconsistency? Because yeah. they're different. The universe is different. How? We establish this. We don't believe evolution. 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 No, no, universe, we how? Evolution. What evolved the universe? That's true. We're not talking about human beings. We're talking about the universe itself. The universe itself has been evolving. So the universe is evolving as well. Which Darwin told us that? Which Darwin told us that? What theory? What, 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 what theory of cosmology tells us that? Evolution. Okay, then you can keep your theory separate. So with all respect, I'm not saying he's saying evolution as well. Okay, so do you see the point I'm making? I think it's very important to understand. It's a very basic thing. When it comes to simple things, we say design, design. When it comes to something more complex, like the universe, we say uh, maybe not. Well, I'm not sure. Like a tree or biology, we wouldn't say it's designed. Yeah, but I'm not asking you about this. You're I'm talking about like things that we know that we've designed. No, no, no. But there's like other things that we know that are more complex. I'd say the tree is more complex okay. than my jacket. But I would say I'd say that the tree isn't designed. No, but we would say it is designed. Yeah, you okay, would. What reason, you, what reason would you say it's not designed? What's your reasoning for it? evolution. Okay, but evolution is a theory which explains the process, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's to say that there's no creature or cause behind the process? That the process is not guided, even if that was the case? Right now, talking about evolution, we don't see evolution taking place, even as far as the tree is concerned, right? The point is this, I'm, a, I'm making a more general point because I think it's important to establish some basic things. When it comes to simple things, you being an agnostic or an atheist, whatever you consider yourself, would say the design. When it comes to the universe, you say no design, or maybe not. Why the consistency? That's the question. I, I'm sure you can see the point. There must, there must necessarily be a design. But if, if there is a design, he has to be within the universe. Okay, that's another, we'll, we'll talk about that. But do you accept that there must be a design? We'll, no, we'll I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't say yes or no. I would say I don't know. So, so then you should deny that your jacket was probably designed. You should say maybe it wasn't designed. Maybe it made, it made itself. Apply the same logic. No, because again, they're two different things. No, but you should, what's different? I've asked you already several times. Well, the universe is everything. Okay. And my jacket is one guess. Yes. But are they both physical? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the nature is the same. The nature is the same. They have for, for the sake nature. of discussion, can we segregate between natural and non-natural things? Not necessarily. For the sake of discussion. No, no, i tell you why. Because the discussion isn't about natural or unnatural. The question is about features or whatever the thing is, which tell us it's either designed or not designed. It's the it's reality of those things. So that's why I asked him when it comes to the very bottle again. When it comes to the bottle, although he didn't see the bottle being made, the point is that he knows it's designed. He assumes that. Why? Not because he saw it, because he didn't. It's because of the nature of the bottle. Right? So, so there's certain things as human beings. Con confusion comes in. Whenever you talk about manufactured stuff, it's really easy to say what's designed and not designed. The confusion comes in. When you talk about the universe, talk about trees, talk yeah. about leaves, and talk about human beings, when, when the where is the confusion? The con uh, so I know what the atheists say. The atheists will say, "Well, that's natural. And this is man-made." Yeah, yeah. But that's a red herring. I'll tell you why. Because we're talking about the nature and the condition of these things. Right? So no, sorry. Uh, coming back to my point, the confusion, which I was trying to say, was confusion comes on the designer. Yes. Obviously, me being a Muslim, I believe that who the designer created is. But for the sake of discussion, uh, confusion comes in that uh, one can say that the design designer exists only for 
non-natural objects. Sorry, can you say that again? Non-natural objects. The designers exist for jackets, for bottles, for stuff. But my question is this, just because we made certain things or rearranged existing material, that doesn't remove the argument because the argument is about something else. It's about as human beings seeing design, evaluating and understanding it based on its thing, the thing's features, right? It's not about whether we made it or not. Just because we made something, doesn't automatically mean that anything else that we didn't make wasn't designed. So that's a fallacy, that's the point. That's why I'm talking about, even when there's man-made, and we take man-made examples because they're simple to understand. But you, many things we don't see being designed themselves. For example, the jacket you're wearing, you haven't seen it yourself being made. But you assume it's designed because of its features, its things about it, which leads you to that conclusion. What I'm saying is simple. Like, the same logic you apply to come to the conclusion that your jacket is designed. As for the atheists, apply the same logic to something that's far more complex than the jacket itself, which allows for the human beings to exist, which create these things in the first place. That's the argument, it's very simple. And I would say if someone argues that simple things like a watch or a jacket need to be designed, then something more complex must necessarily need to be designed. Yeah, I agree. Apply the yeah. same logic. But what atheists do is they're very inconsistent. When it comes to simple things, they'll say design. They'll say you're stupid, why do you say why do you say it's made itself? It can't make itself. But when it comes to the universe, no. Well, it's different. And this is why I ask, why is it different? Are they both physical? Yes. Then what's different? The difference is complexity. The difference is size and scale. So if that's the case, then there's more chances because it's more complex that it needs a designer than something more simple. That's the simple point. So this is what I'm saying to you, sir, is that if we can accept that there is a designer, then we can speak about whether it's in the creation or outside the creation. That's the second question. But I don't want you to jump the gun. I want you to establish some basic things first. Simple logic. Does the universe need a designer? Mainly because the universe to me is everything. So if it's everything, yeah. I don't see where the designer could be. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay. No, but what I'm saying to you, wherever the designer is, for now, that's besides the point. Because that's really important. No, no, we will discuss that. I said that. But right now, before we move to that point, where the designer is irrelevant because we're talking about the design factor first, whether it's designed or not. Once we establish that, then we can talk about where the design is. You follow? There's a logical progression to our discussion. We can't just keep jumping from point to point because I can tell you about where the designer is and who he is and his nature, but it's irrelevant to you because you, you don't even accept that the universe is designing. You see, when it comes to a specific jacket, and we're talking about like yours right now, when it comes to a specific jacket, it's highly likely that it was designed because of the way it is, the function, the purpose it serves, the shape, the symmetry, the stitching, you can see detail, you can see these things. Yes? Yes? I would just say because I know about it when I was but now you now you're denying the reasons you know your jacket's designed. Just because well, you don't want to answer my question. Because of everything about it, the function, the nature, the symmetry, the purpose, everything about it. You yeah, will okay. assume and okay. conclude it's yeah. designed. Yeah. Right? And what I'm saying is simple, that the universe is far more complex, far more symmetrical, it has laws, it has mathematical laws which are fine-tuned, there is so much order within the universe. The very fact that the universe is ordered is the reason we can do science today, right? Because science relies on an ordered universe. You can't do science if there's nothing there to understand or if there was no order there. Right? So the point is this, the universe is far more complex and ordered and far better designed than your jacket. And it's not me saying this, individuals like Richard Dawkins himself says, well, the universe looks precisely fine-tuned and designed. But then he finishes it off, he says, well, there's the appearance of design, it's not really designed. I'm saying it's so simple, what he's doing basically, I'm saying call a spade a spade. That's what I'm saying. Human logic dictates to be, to be sincere to our rationality, if it's a spade, call it a spade. If it's designed, I know, when I no, look but, up in the sky, yeah. I just see stars everywhere, you know what I mean? I don't see like a pattern, Sure, I just see stars everywhere. But don't you see that the laws that are necessary, the fine-tuning that's necessary for those stars to exist is far more complex than your jacket itself? And to travel, yeah, and yeah. to give light, yeah. everything. You see, so this is the point. This is why I'm saying to you, but I still don't, in every don't way, know shape and form, there's a designer. Look, you haven't given me one. I'm asking you for one thing. You haven't given me one thing right now, which, which you can show to me that there's good reasons for you to assume that the universe is not designed, but to assume your jacket's designed. You haven't given me one good reason. I've given you several. But I don't have a reason to believe that there is a designer or there isn't. I'm agnostic about it. I'm saying that the reasons, in a very basic way, are the same you have to believe the jacket's designed. If anything, more so to believe that the universe is designed. 
But I'm just saying be consistent. Everything, you know, it's everything. Exists. Sure, and that's what I'm saying. There's more reasons. Let's divide, define everything. Uh, everything's define even better. Everything. What you're doing is you're you're digging a bigger hole now. Because when you say everything, what is you're it? talking about all of the complexity, everything. all of the order, Absolutely. all of the laws, everything, everything present, matter, yeah. energy, everything. everything. So you're making it more difficult for yourself. Now you have to account for everything. Not only just one part of the universe, but everything. I'm saying this, let me, let me rephrase it in your way. If your simple jacket needs to be designed, then in the whole universe and everything, as you say, everything. How can it must necessarily be designed? If it's everything, then how can there be a designer if it's everything? Everything that exists in the physical universe, the physical universe itself. I mean everything. Like no, okay, energy. let me clarify. When I say everything, I mean everything physical that exists. I mean everything. Okay. I don't mean everything. He means everything. I mean everything that exists. God's is what I, okay. I mean. Everything. So, do you believe in something beyond the physical? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, you haven't established whether you believe something beyond the physical, but you're saying everything, which may include beyond the physical. Yeah. So, how can you make that statement? How can you say everything, physical plus whatever else? I say everything. You don't believe I know everything physical. Yes. And there might be of a uh, non-physical thing. No, but, but I don't know whether they exist. Okay. Well, I've given you good reason to believe that there must be something beyond the universe which designed the universe. Do you accept? So, and I'm not saying creator yet. We established that. So yeah. you're saying, don't say creator. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, are you willing to accept from what we discussed today to be consistent as a human being and admit that the universe must necessarily have a design, a design at least, at least, before we move on? I don't on. know. I said, I don't know. I can't. Can you see you being inconsistent? No. <laughs> You need to think about this. Because this is what atheists do. Really think about the way you're reasoning right now. Because you're saying something simple needs a design because of its nature. Some things are simple, like, like you said, my jacket needs a design, not a creator. But other things like a tree or a human being, I would say don't need a assuming that. And I'm, you're assuming that. I'm giving you reasons why everything needs a design. Yeah, you think it. Yeah, but well, I'm just giving you good reasons. Think, think about it. Have a think. Yeah, we can discuss this next week so we'll really think about it. Because what we're saying, we're not, we're not looking down on atheists or agnostics. We're just here because you know, in the Quran, God, God tells us to do something. We to convey this message to people. Yeah. Yeah. And what we're here to show is because many atheists have created this narrative that Islam is backwards, you guys don't think, you're not rational, all of these things. What we're here to say is, guys, look, we're giving you the most rational world view which makes sense of reality and our condition as human beings. Just take a moment to sincerely read it and approach it. That's what we say. I read it when I was like eight years old. Well, maybe it's I time now. It's been a very long time. <laughs> yeah. A couple of years ago. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, have a read. Have yeah. a read of the Quran. And will you see... Let's go on with the argument. Let's, let's, yeah. let's, let's say that I... Um, do you accept there's a design? I don't. But let's say I do. No, but there's no point. Look, no, um, let me tell you something. There's a Quran in there. there. Okay, Aman, let me be very frank with you. Yeah. I'm not here to have arguments and debates. Okay. I'm here with a very simple thing, which is to share the truth I've discovered with you. Okay? Now, I don't want to have wasteful arguments. What we'll discuss now, it will just be an argument for unnecessary sakes. Because okay? if you haven't accepted a the design, then there's no point talking about the design. Yeah, okay. Once you accept that, and you establish that, then we can talk about the design. Okay. But what I will tell you is this. That the Quran tells us that He is one, He's all powerful, and He knows everything, He's in control of everything, but Laysa Kamithli Shay said in the Arabic, which means He's unlike anything you can imagine. So He's not a man, He's not a man with a beard, He's beyond our conception, He's beyond the physical. He's not a part of the universe, He's distinct and destroyed from the universe. He's the creator of everything. That's what we say. I, I will give you that much, because it's important for you to, you to know this, for you to go and study for it. I'd like to give you this, bro, as a gift, and this. These are just some verses. Uh, maybe next week, we'll get, you're here next week. I might be. I'll bring you a copy of the Quran. I've got one. Thanks, man. Nice to talk to you.